Hi guys, uh, we're on Craft and Water today. I'm just going to do a quick little uh, video on some of the um, techniques we employ with the vertical jigging. Um, it's absolutely perfect for these deep water reservoirs when you're fishing, um, you know, right above fish. It's um, it's a big fish technique as well as a small fish technique. Um, with a bit of luck, you'll see a few fish today. Um, but I'd just like to run through in a minute just the type of kit that I use for it. And uh, certainly if you're a first timer coming out in these waters, what it is to expect um, from, from your vertical fishing. So the first bit of advice I've got for vertical fishing is, um, it's the same as all your other fishing, is balanced tackle. Um, for this you want quite a short rod, this is six foot six, absolutely brilliant. Because you're fishing close, you, you know, you don't want a big cumbersome rod out there. Um, this is uh, 15 to 35 grams, it is the Terminator Pro, but will be replaced soon with the TIs, which are um, just going to be phenomenal for this type of fishing. Um, it's a very strong rod backbone wise. I'm only fishing 20 grams today, but if I was fishing more and particularly in deeper water, you need to be able to set the hooks in that deep water. So you need plenty of backbone um, with it, not necessarily too much of a sensitive tip. Like I say, these are perfect, absolutely brilliant. Paired up with a tiny reel, thousand size reel, we're not casting, so we don't need um, masses of line. Obviously these reservoirs are deep, we're fishing 45 foot today. Um, some of the other reservoirs go up to 100 foot, but you know, a little reel will hold 100 foot, no problem. And again, most important, good quality braid. Um, this is 0.12, which is about 20 pounds. Um, I will go slightly thinner if we need to when we're fishing deeper or if we're drifting and have got a lot of wind on, so we're creating a lot more resistance in the water. Um, but for today, where we're barely moving, 0.12 is absolutely perfect for it. So one of the um, quite important things with vertical fishing seems to be the added addition of a stinger. Um, we haven't actually used one today. One, we haven't needed one, but two, we're fishing quite small baits. Um, quite often, if, certainly if you're Xander fishing, you might be fishing baits up to seven inches. Um, and obviously a little jig head at the front limits, limits your hook ability. So um, a stinger works absolutely brilliant. If you're out in these angling waters, you do need a, um, a wire trace if you're gonna put a treble on there. Um, so again, sometimes if I can get away without using a stinger, I don't, but if we're getting lots of tail nips, or we're missing lots of bites. Most of the time it's Xander nipping the tail. So um, drop a stinger on there, vary the length for the stinger. They won't always you know, be right in the tail. Just vary the length so that it's up and down the length of the lure and um, hopefully it'll put a few more fish in the boat for you. So like with, um, with a lot of fishing, there's lots of different techniques. It sounds like vertical fishing is just you know, straight down, but you can hold the rod and give, give little, um, little action to the lure or big action to the lure. Um, it really, really, really depends how the fish want it on the day, um, but also what, what baits you're fishing. We've been fishing a slick shad today, which is quite a long bait um, with a thin wrist. So small action, little wobbly, and it's perfect. But likewise, if we give it a bit more like that, then uh, sometimes we can get, get a fish that comes up and the paddle tail's working, the paddle tail's also working as it falls back down. Um, whereas if you're fishing a pintail, which quite often you will be for the Xander fishing, or, or a fork tail, then um, less, less is generally more then. So um, more of a quiver in action as opposed to a paddle tail being up and down and constantly working. But it really, really, really does depend on the day. So um, this vertical fishing isn't isn't my normal normal game to be perfectly honest. Um, I do a bit of it and I use it as and when it's needed. So really today's a prime example that one it's needed, but two it's working. Um, traditionally, you'll see a lot of vertical jigging is done with a pintail or with a fork tail. Um, at Fox, we've only got the one available. 
Um, however, I haven't touched any of them today and I've just been looking at paddle tails. So vertical fishing can be done with pintails, paddle tails, um, whatever you want really. And, um, and hopefully by mixing it up, you'll keep yourself on the fish and just keep, keep experimenting, keep trying and um, yeah, just keep persevering. So one of, one of the little bonuses with a bit of vertical jigging is a bit of um, what I call sharp shooting. So we've just come over, literally come over two or three big fish on their own and you can just stop quickly, drop straight down, have a couple of jigs, don't spend ages messing about. If they're going to have it, they'll have it straight away. A um, bit like pelagic, but these are quite far down on the bottom to be honest. Um, but it's just another little bonus. If you've got the rod ready, vertical jigging, as soon as you've gone over the fish, stop the engine, drop straight down and try your luck. Doesn't always result in a fish, but sometimes gives you that bonus fish. Oh, it's a big zed, look, lovely. There we go. So that's the benefits of uh, a bit of vertical fishing. Um, this one fell to vertical fist Slick shed in rough, which I believe is probably the closest to Xander colours down there as possible. Um, but again, as you'll notice, very, very small. They definitely haven't wanted big baits today. And um, just goes to show that you need to have um, plenty of different techniques in your armoury to, you know, come and, come and tackle these waters because they don't always take the same bait and always take the same, the same technique. Happy days. <laughs>